Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. My name is Joe Kim. I'm one of the Audacious Youth College interns. And this week I'm just doing a devotional on the importance of God-given relationships. And the first scripture I want to read to you guys is from 1 Thessalonians 5.14. And it says, And we urge you, brothers and sisters, warn those who are idle and disruptive. Encourage the disheartened. Help the weak. Be patient with everyone. It's so important for us to actually have other people in our lives except from ourselves, uh, not only for them to be able to pour into us, but for us to actually be able to pour into them, to be able to inspire them and also keep growing their faith, even though they might be in a difficult time sometimes. When people have difficult seasons, sometimes the easiest thing might be to turn away from God and actually shy away from community. But as people who make relationships, we can just actually use those relationships to be able to encourage them to bring themselves back into community and actually surround themselves with more people when they're in their darkest times to be able to actually help them get through that season uh, and into the prosperity that God wants them to live in. Um, without other people in your life, it's really easy to get lost in yourself. Sometimes uh, the enemy tries to creep things into our lives slowly and slowly and we might not notice it ourselves because that's one of the foolish tricks of the enemy. But with other people in our lives, if they see that something's out of order, they can at least, you know, go, hey, there's something not quite right here. Um, and it's it's definitely really important to have that sense of accountability. Uh, James 5.16 says, therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is always powerful and effective. This scripture really reminds me that Jesus died for our sins. That's why it doesn't say that we have to confess our sins so that we may be forgiven, but because that happened at the cross, but instead through confession to each other, we're actually able to be healed uh, from things that might have happened in our past and things that have actually wounded us. Uh, even though we may be forgiven, we might not be healed. So through confessing it to our friends and those who are we're in relationship with those who are close to us, we're actually able to be healed from those wounds. There are countless verses in the Bible that directly tell us to be in community with each other. And I think that's one of the essential things to live in a strong and faithful life, because not only do we have people that inspire us, but we also have people that keep us accountable to our faith and the ways that we live in. So this week, why don't you just think about the people in your life who you trust and who you're in relationship with, such that if you was ever in a difficult time, you'd be able to go to them and talk it through with them with no condemnation, but full support and comfort of that person. Um, you could even just step out this week as well and look for people in your life who you're close to, who might be going through a difficult time and actually just give them a nice gesture, like make them some dinner, give them some flowers or just actually encourage them with words uh, because you never know how much of a difference that could make to someone who's actually going through a difficult time and let me just pray for you guys yeah god i just thank you so much that you're a powerful god and you're a god who's given us this fantastic tool of relationships i pray over this week lord that you will help us highlight who in our life is trustworthy, who in our life is able to pour into us. And as well, Lord, I just pray that you may help us pour into others, just give people encouragement, help us show other people love so that they may feel just stronger in faith and so that they are able to continue their journey and grow in you, Jesus. Amen.